Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode 7 of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Last week's episode had quite a bit of action in it. A couple of details that I missed and or didn't think of at all while watching it. So we'll kind of touch on that. Last week, the team took upon themselves yet again, reluctantly, a mission to help Sid. This time they were sent to Corellia to track down a decommissioned Separatist tactical droid so that they could try to, at least, I assume, Sid wants to sell this to the highest bidder as that information is highly valuable. Along the way, the team uh, infiltrates and runs into the Martez sisters of all people who are also there to steal this tactical droid's information. Um, turns out, though, that they're working for a mysterious party, this that one that is fighting against the Empire. They also have R7, or... And R7 with them. So Rex, Ahsoka, who knows? Bail Organa. The we find we get a little over the shoulder glimpse of their possible contact. Uh, not enough to see who it was. The subtitles do say it was he or him. Um, so it maybe it was Bail, maybe it was Rex. We've seen Rex teased earlier in the episode. Uh, we're well not the episode, the season a couple times, so it is possible. We had some people arguing it could be Ahsoka taking on the fulcrum um, identity or moniker to mask her identity using a different, you know, identifying a di different way so that to throw people off. But I don't know why she would need to do that with Rafa and Trace. So that's why I think that's highly unlikely. I think easy candidates for this are probably Bail Organa, Saw Gerrera, or even Rex. I think the most likely for me, the one I'm leaning towards is probably Rex because that would also tie into the Ahsoka connection and why they would probably trust Rex having Ahsoka be close by. Um, just some thoughts with that whole thing. So yeah, in the episode two, more concerns are raised with Wrecker. We can no longer really brush off this whole like headache thing as a lot of quinky dinks because uh, he started to spout Crosshair's line of good soldiers twice. And then he was also hearing Crosshair's words echo in his head. He never finished the sentence himself, but I feel like that's only setting up that it is indeed coming around the corner. So we got to keep an eye on that. This episode is actually um, kind of long compared to the other ones, 27 minutes. Uh, so that all being said, is that the longest one we've had so far outside of the pilot? No, actually, no, it's just, it's, Oh, it's just longer than the last three episodes. So um, that all out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and dive into this episode. Remember, the full-length unedited reaction watch-along is available over on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the YouTube channel itself, gets you access to all the same content we're covering. Loki, we've covered WandaVision, Falcon, Winter Soldier, a lot of the DC TV shows as well. So if you're interested in that at all, also Invincible, check it out. Help support the channel and helps me ever increase the quality as much as I can for you guys. Anyway, let's do it. Battle scars. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, shit. How much longer until we're in hyperspace, Tech? That depends on when Echo plans on getting the drive back online. <laughs> what the fuck? Technically, the Rokai stole the lizard first. We are merely intercepting it. We, do we miss something here? <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Hyperdrive's online! Got it! Okay, that's quite the start to the episode. Bring the lizard in the back. Hmm. Well, the mission's over. Can we go? Again? It's a tradition. It makes the kid happy. Uh huh. The kid. <laughs> Don't take long. <laughs> Aww. All right, fellas, here's your cut. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said the job paid three times this. For me, not for you. And just how is this a mutually beneficial arrangement? 
Rather generous considering the debt you owe me. What debt? Docking fees, port charges, gear, fuel, rations, and 20 cartons of Mantel mix? There's possible <sighs> mission. Mm hmm. That'll be 14 credits for the Mantel mix. Mm. Oh, yeah. uh, put it on such time. <laughs> Uh, look at that. Who we got over here in this corner? I suggest you figure something out before you see my ugly side. That's not her ugly side. What was that, goggles? <laughs> uh oh. That's that's clone oh, yeah. armor. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what the fuck that was. It's been a while, boys. Where have you been, Rex? <laughs> that's a long story. I'm surprised that we're seeing him already. Been, uh, keeping a low profile. Well, how'd you track us down? Trace and Rafa Mates. Okay, so that's who it was. Okay, so it was Rex. Well, look who it is. <laughs> Come here, Rex. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too, Rex. <laughs> I thought you didn't like the rigs. This one we like. I've met many clones in my time, but never one like you. You're a generation one. How do you know that? From the lines in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I've been around. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Check. I need one of those med patches. You used the last one. Oh, Rex knows. Wrong. Nothing. Uh, it's just a headache. If you're concerned about the so-called inhibitor chips, don't be. Our deviant nature appears to have impeded their functionality. Except in Crosshair. You haven't removed your chips? No, not yet. Rex, you're all ticking time bombs. Take it easy, Captain. What's in your head is more dangerous than you can imagine. I don't want to bury any more of our brothers. Trust me, it is not something you can control. I couldn't. It's a risk you do not want to take. How do you suggest we get them out? I'll be in touch. Alright. Well, we're addressing that pretty quick. Hopefully it's in time for Wrecker, at least. Everybody else seems to be pretty okay, but he's losing it right now. I don't like this plan. We agreed to meet Rex on Braca. That's what we're doing. We're going to Braca? All of our heads, actually. Not mine. I don't have an inhibitor chip. Why not? <laughs> That's not fair. <sighs> Dude, I don't know where this syncs up right now with uh but my god, I would fucking shit myself if we see Cal. Rock may not be much to look at, but it has exactly what we need. I had my inhibitor chip taken out on a Jedi cruiser just like that. That's where we're heading. Then why don't we land all the way over here? Everyone down. That's why. It's the Scrapper Guild. Five, Man, it hasn't been that long, has it? This shit looks rusted to hell. Understand at the time. This is an original Venator class ship from the first batch off the line. First off the line, huh? Just like you, Rex. <laughs> what is it? Stay There's something in the water. Line. If the inhibitor chip isn't something you can control, how'd you get yours out? I had help. Grab that cable. This? Well, why? Well, what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> Go without me. You can do it. Just keep your eyes on the cable. 
<laughs> Come on, buddy. Yeah, let's just bang his head more. Oh, he's dangling for whatever's in the water. What the fuck? Go, go, go! What the fuck? It looks like that thing that uh, those fishermen in uh, Mando tried to feed Grogu to. I'll calibrate the surgical pod. Scanned, Wrecker. Let's get this over with. I feel like the scan might trigger it. I'm hoping not, though. What if something goes wrong? So I'll be left here with no one. We're not going anywhere, Omega. You're stuck with us for <laughs> the long run. Got it? Uh, I feel like that's I not going to be the case. Something. 90 degrees from his right orbital floor, below the parietal and temporal intersection. Get that away from me. Something's not right. We need to speed this up. Fuck. You're in direct violation of Order 66. God damn. Oh, this is not good. Destroy the equipment if we don't get him out of here. You're all traitors. Omega, stay with tech. Oh. He stunned <laughs> Echo. I think Wrecker's the scariest one to have go like this. This isn't you, Wrecker. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> that was so close. The procedure's complete. By the long face. He's awake! One chip down, three to go. Who's next? Damn, we're knocking them all out today. That's good at least. Listen. I tried to control it. I tried as hard as I could. I just couldn't make it stop. I know, Ricker. I'm sorry. <gasps> the mission's over. We can't break tradition. <sighs> Thanks, kid. <laughs> I'll meet you at the rendezvous by the next rotation. 
I figured you weren't out of the fight just yet. Your squad's skills would be a tremendous asset. Omega needs us, and I have to do what's best for my squad. Which is what? I'm still figuring that out. When you sort things out, let me know where you land. Stay out of trouble. Funny. I was going to say the same to you. Forever to bind. You know how to reach us. Intruders confirmed on the Jedi cruiser. Notify the Empire. Fuck. All right, guys. Well, our questions were answered from last episode about the mystery figure. Um, and the chip's been taken care of, so. All right, so most of our concerns have been alleviated. Everybody else got their chips out. Um, so that leaves Fennec on the hunt. The Scrapper Guild's about to notify the Empire of their current location. Hopefully, they will be out of here by the time they show up. Uh, <laughs> and they're just at, gone. But it's not not, not looking good. Alright, man. Seeing Rex come in here uh, and help them with the whole chip thing. And I love how seriously he took it. Because honestly, it took tech way too long <laughs> to work on that fucking scanner. Um... Because that should have been priority one, I feel like. And, you know, rations, sure. Food, sure. Well, food and rations, same thing. But like that, I mean, they they would, in fact, be a danger to themselves, to Omega, if they didn't get those taken care of, if they left it and just assumed everything would be okay. If they had gone that route, Wrecker probably would have killed all of them. <laughs> Wrecker is a machine. Like, with his enhanced strength and the chip enabled, he was smart. He was uh, thoughtful. He he was still slow, but he was deadly. Like, he was looking, analyzing, thinking. It took him to a... It, it, it definitely made him deadlier, I, I would say. Um, or at least more formid formidable against the rest of them. Um, that whole thing was like, like Michael Myers just showed up in there, except he's wrecking shop, I'm wrecking shop. Anyway, it was fun seeing them go to Braca. Um, you know, I thought it would be kind of hopeful if Cal Kestis was there or maybe I forget, um, his friend's name. Like if we just saw like him or something like that, just something like maybe some acknowledgement to fall in order, that would have been cool, but I'm fine with it. Not it's a, it's a big trash planet. So it's very easy to uh, not run into any of those people. Also, I don't know if the, the timing really lines up because Cal would still be a fair amount younger at this point. Um, considering, cause I wasn't really thinking about the timeline all that much. Cause I couldn't remember exactly how long, uh, Fallen Order actually takes place in. So who knows? He might he might not even be on Braca yet. Um, so that could be why they ran into his uh, alien friend. I don't know, but I I like this episode altogether. I like that we finally kind of got a some of the plots under the rug. Um, they were courted, of course, by the call to the rebellion, but I've decided to avoid that for now. Um, I couldn't make out any of the wording on who Rex was talking to in that communicator. So if guys, if you heard that, I'll go back over it on the subtitles, but if you want to comment what that was or who you think it might've been, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, yeah. Sid being, uh, having a debt o over their heads for these jobs now, because I, I guess they w weren't in on the loop of this, but apparently she's been paying for their, docking their ship repairs their rations all this stuff on the side uh they thought they were getting all the stuff maybe for free <laughs> that wasn't the case now they owe uh oh said quite a bit now and probably would have been made off fine with that had they actually brought the uh, tactical droid head back from the last mission but they played their cards in their uh in their 
close to their hearts with that one. And I, I, I'm glad, I'm at least glad they did that. They didn't like just, uh, say screw the good cause or whatever for monetary gain. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find anything else to talk about. I mean, super straightforward episode, man. It was just the dynamic between Omega and Wrecker. I think is different because like where like Hunter is clearly like her the father figure in this whole thing. He's the one that feels responsible. He's the one taking care of her. He's the one trying to give her the best, you know, a grip at life or attempt at life. So like Wrecker is like because of the way his mind is, is like her big brother. He still has that protective instinct. He's still trying to help her out and do the best for her, but they're like so close to the same wavelength that they get into trouble together. They like the they have their own little like post mission ritual. Um, I wonder how much time has actually been passing because we got we kind of came into them in the in the beginning of this episode with them at the tail end of a mission we didn't get to see. Sound like a fun one. But uh, I get that, that we're not lingering on every side mission here. and We're getting some time passing. We're getting some growth and exploration of what's going on. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious to see where it's where what direction is next, because I felt like they would have dragged the inhibitor chip thing out a little bit longer than this. But. Yeah, so we still got Finnick to worry about. We still got the the cloner conspiracy to worry about. We still have Crosshair to worry about. Um, and yeah, I think that's really the big major points. If they could capture Crosshair. Well, I mean, they'd have to get him back to one of these ships or maybe maybe because they know where it is and how to do it with that, they could re like replicate that somewhere else. Um, so maybe they can get Crosshair back uh, on their team down the road. Who knows? I'm just curious where this, where we're going from here. So guys, I don't really have anything else to say about this episode. So I'm going to leave it to you. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below so we can carry on the conversation after the video. Remember the full length unedited reaction watch along is available over on Patreon or if you become a member to the channel here, it gets you access to all the same stuff. Huge shout out to our current legends on the channel. Mandy Sherrod, Jason Coleman, and Ryan Karen. Thank you guys so much for your support. We got a Discord channel open and links to that and all my uh, socials are down in the description of the video. Hope to see you there real soon. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch. May the Force be with you. Always. Take care, everybody.